I got some. We're good. So this is where we're staying right now. It's starting this video with the bay. We're actually on the way to go snorkeling right now. I haven't got too terribly sunburned this entire trip. I think today will be the day that I become a lobster. <laughs> Time to snorkel with the crew. Woo! Everyone is so excited and turns. Let's do this. chill on the beach. I think we're going out again because one time snorkeling isn't enough. You gotta do it two times in the span of two hours. It's gonna be turned. Oh look, we are arriving at our island. Parkour! 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 Oh yeah! This is nice. Here we have our plantain chips. Friends, beach, pineapple, cookie, fruit juice. Living large, living the life. I really enjoyed this round of snorkeling. It was easy to see things, um, and I felt more comfortable. So I actually like didn't have my life jacket on the majority of the time. So I was just able to like dive underwater, which made it cool. Hopefully, I got some cool shots of fishies and stuff. <laughs> Look at that! It's a snail. It's a snail. It's a snail. Nice it's catch. Snail. Some time has passed, and we have now named. This creature, what is his name? Francisco. Because he's, he's spicy. Meet Francisco. Paradise. So that boat are the people going back to the mainland. And this is the fun boat. We're going back out into the ocean for round two of snorkel. I briefly talked about this earlier. When you get in the water, but I lost my ray bands. Somewhere in my hotel room? I just can't find them. And so I've been kind of a mess the past 24 hours, being all frantic and trying to search them. But I have now accepted that I have just lost my hands. It's probably why I should buy expensive sunglasses. It was my first pair of good sunglasses that weren't $15 Target ones. And I lost them for it. But I'm in paradise. So I don't have time to stress out about losing sunglasses. Yeah, the waves are a little bigger out here. I feel like I'm swimming in a big thing of Windex.
Steve Irwin, too soon? I feel like it's still too soon, even though it was like 10 years ago. Um, no, the stingray was massive. Um, that one somehow got better. The snorkels are just progressively getting better. That was, ooh, that was cool. And I usually don't like fish and stuff, but now I like fish. And stuff. And stuff. We got the rest of the squad. Now back to the island for some chill vibes. I am getting a massage later. I'm so excited. I'm going with Shannon. Hey! A massage and a facial. Don't get pampered, y'all. So I am so extremely embarrassed right now. I did the stupidest thing ever. I go to my room and my arm is literally on fire, but just my arm, my right arm. I don't know if you can tell, but this arm is so sunburned. I had this spray sunscreen and I forgot to spray my right freaking arm. So I sprayed my whole body, forgot to spray my right arm. I'm so embarrassed, because now my right arm is probably gonna be the only one getting tan, but now it's sunburned, and it hurts so bad. Oh, uh, So what I'm doing right now is about to go get a massage. So I gotta be like, um, excuse me, just be careful with one arm, please, because I'm stupid. Forgot to put sunscreen on it. I am so zen right now. I never get massages or anything, but I got a massage and a facial. And you know, like in my head, it's usually like a hundred dollars for a massage and facial. I could like buy something like a camera thing or something. Um, but I was, I, you know, I'm in Belize. I'm like, okay, let's try to relax, like maximum zen. And man, that was amazing. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need to start budgeting in massage, like monthly massages for my person, cause, whew. My right arm is still in pain. It's still on fire. Still can't believe I didn't put sunscreen just on one arm. I'm gonna have to go out, lay out in the sun tomorrow, just for my left arm, so I don't look weird. But the sun is going down, and I wanna kinda show you around this place that we've um, been staying at for two days, cause it's by far the best place we've stayed. It's like a resort, um, and it's so nice. This is, this is what I have to myself. So you like open up, open up the blinds, and you're looking right out onto the beach. Like, there's the beach. What? And right there is the pool. Like, there's the bar. So you walk through these doors, and this is my room. Like, it's amazing. So you come outside, you have your own porch. Walk out here. There's all of these different types of like villas out here, and this is all part of the same resort. You go out here, so here is the dock, and you can rent kayaks and stuff. It's like 6 p.m. right now. So it's getting dark. I should have come out here sooner. I'm just gonna stop right here. And let's just admire this water and the sound. Just go to your own zen place for a second. Hmm, yes. Okay, so moving on. There's places to sit underneath umbrellas. So this is the main area. Right over here is where we've been having all of our meals and hanging out. How's the hammock? It's great, but I'm like sinking all the way to the bottom. So yeah, because you're like... fat. Well, yeah. Are y'all feeling the vibes? Oh, I'm feeling the vibes. So this is the main area. This is where 
we've eaten and stuff and see the water is just right out there. So you can eat and have your meal and just stare at the beautiful water. So I'm chilling out here in a hammock and I actually took to Twitter and asked you guys to ask me questions either about Belize or travel in general. So I'm going to answer a few of those as I swing out here. It's, a, it's like the perfect night. First question, what consequences have traveling in relation to your creativity? Are you planning to come to Spain? I don't know if I'm planning to come to Spain, but that is an interesting question because this trip I've found that I have been able to stay on top of videos. I've actually gotten ahead, which is something I have not been able to do in New York. But the reason is there has been a ton of bus time, a ton of traveling on an airplane. When I am confined to a small space, I actually get my best work done because there's no, no distractions. And I've actually been reading for the first time ever. Um, I'm reading like Sam Walton's Made in America. It's a story behind Walmart. Um, and reading is actually very inspiring. When are you coming back to LA? LA is always on the table. There are always so many things going on out there. So I will probably be making a trip out to LA in the next few months. How do you manage to keep hustling between everything you have going on in your life? I'm figuring it out as I go. Something that I think really helped recently that I actually did on this trip was I sat down and I wrote down every single thing I want to accomplish and I associated a date to it. So for the next four months, I have deadlines to hit um, that I'm gonna hold myself to and I think that's gonna help a lot and keep up the hustle. Which one would you rather have when you travel? A power pack for charging your electronics or a six pack of LaCroix? What songs type of music do you listen to whilst travel or that inspires you to travel? A inspiring soundtrack to listen to about travel, it'll just make you want to get on a plane and go to Iceland, is the Secret Life of Walter Mitty soundtrack. If you haven't seen that movie, see that movie, um, but also look up the soundtrack because it is amazing. What's your most common travel pet peeve? So I guess it's not a pet peeve, but it's something that bothers me about myself is I am in a constant state of chaos all the time. So I always have so many things to do, especially leading up to getting on an airplane. So I always pack super, super last minute. And so I am always late getting out the door. Um, so I have found myself in airports in a crazy rush. Um, one of these days I'm gonna have all the time in the world and I'll be able to maybe go to airport lounges and be awesome like that. Um, but I'm always like barely catching my flight nowadays, which isn't, isn't ideal. What is one destination you will never travel to or will never travel to again? Interesting question. I've never had a crazy desire to go to Australia. I just feel like too many things like can eat me there. Um, like maybe that'll change. I wouldn't say like never say never. Um, but yeah, I don't have a strong desire to go to Australia. How do you decide between saving or traveling? That is a fantastic question. Uh, something that I did in college was when I graduated high school, I knew traveling is something that I wanted to do more of. Um, so I made a few conscious decisions, like I stayed at home so I didn't have to pay for rent. I went to a college that was close to where I lived. Um, so, you know, that made living at home easier. And because it was in state, I had a scholarship. It was easier to get like a merit scholarship. So I just made decisions to where I was able to save money in college. Um, and then I just worked a ton and every single penny that I earned either went back to buying camera gear or traveling. So I got to go to some cool places like Iceland and Greece um, and that was just from saving up and traveling and just spending. What's your best travel tip tips? Something that I've gotten into recently is packing cubes. All that is, I'll leave a link in the description below, is literally just compartments for you to put your clothes into, but it separates things, it helps you stay more organized, but it also makes your clothes more compact, um, so you can fit more in your suitcase, and you are more organized. Favorite part about Belize, hands down, today. The snorkeling today was insane. This place we're at right now is amazing. The fact that I just had the most wonderful massage and facial and now I'm about to go hang out with my homies for dinner. It was just, yeah, favorite part. Like it was all fantastic. I definitely say today, the right behind all the activities that I did today was zip lining. Zip lining through the jungle was unreal. A question that I got a ton of was what gear do I bring when I travel? And I am actually going to do an entire video about that 
for the next video. So Friday I will be posting a, you know, what I brought to Belize in terms of camera gear and all that stuff because I have been filming a ton. So yeah, thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. Um, you have a good one. Stay peachy. Okay, bye.